Hello, and thank you for your interest in watching How to Legalize a Basement Apartment in Toronto. I'm your host, Andre Angelkovsky. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a real estate agent for Remax, and I help clients purchase income producing properties in Old Toronto East, made up of the Toronto Beaches, Leslieville, Danforth, and East York. The importance of this workshop and what you will learn are the following. Why do people want basement apartments in Toronto? What type of demand is there? And what type of rents are people getting for these basement apartments? How much value do these basement apartments actually add to your property? What kind of financing issues will you be coming across? And how do insurance companies look at these basement apartments? What are some of the costs involved in renovating a basement apartment? What are some of the local bylaws? How about the building code requirements? What about the fire code requirements? The electrical safety requirements? What are the five renovations to consider when legalizing a basement apartment? What are building code inspectors calling people out on during these renovations? What happens if you get caught with an illegal basement apartment? You will learn some of the big expensive issues that you can avoid when legalizing a basement apartment. You will learn how to think differently and look at properties differently when you're out looking with your realtor. You will learn how to see different opportunities and convert them into cash flowing properties. And last but not least, you will see an entertaining panel discussion with our professionals and questions from our audience and answers from our professionals. And who are these five professionals? We start off with Andre Angelkovsky, who is the realtor, myself. I would like to actually tell you guys why I'm doing this workshop. So it's to educate you guys, not just on the facts, because facts will just teach you that, just facts, but it's also to help you guys teach you how to think differently. Okay, when you walk into a property and you see a basement apartment, I want to be able to offer you guys the, 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 the education of thinking differently to see different what your options are, what sort of opportunities you can, uh, you can take on, and not just knowing the facts. Okay, but that's where all the opportunities happen when you actually can think differently and you can see different options that other people may not. And that will possibly can give you guys more opportunities to even make more money. And then we have Bob Abrahams, who's the principal local architect. But it was actually worse, because then we had to sort of dress up the house to make it contribute. We had to make this fake, you know, wallpaper around the house to, to tell this story like it had been built in the 1910s or something. It, just, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. It would actually be easier to have a heritage value house, because then you just know, we'll just leave all the trim and, you know, make it the same. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, what I don't like about uh, the Heritage Department is that it's arbitrary. You've got one person sitting there that you've got to deal with who, in my opinion, doesn't really have any standards that they're applying. I don't know if they have training. I shouldn't say they don't. But they, they're, they're not, there's not some guideline that they're looking up. They're, they're just saying, ah, the brick looks a bit dark. Can you make it lighter? Why? Yeah. What, do I need to find you examples of old houses that... Uh, that uh, have, you know, yeah, if you can find me examples, then you go and you photograph examples of the houses that have darker brick and show it to them and they go, okay. But then what, still what? Like, is, it, is the idea you're supposed to look like your neighbors? No, you're not supposed to look like, like your neighbors. You're, all the houses should be different. Okay, different how? Like, like there, you know, there's one of the craftsman style and there's a Victorian one and there's a whatever. Like, so what? It's just completely arbitrary. And, and actually, luckily though, for you guys, the, the city doesn't have a good enforcement mechanism. So our clients that build in the Heritage Street, sometimes they will get a permit and go through all these meetings to get just the right color of brick and then put it whatever they want. And the city doesn't really have the teeth to do anything about it yet, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. They'll catch up eventually. And we have Paul Schuster, who's the fire guy. So we're looking at, we've got three different configurations we're gonna look at here now. So the first one, the basement suite, has a separate egress door leading directly to the exterior. This is what the building code would be looking for, and this is the best scenario that we can have under the fire code. We have Jeff Reed, who's the renovation specialist. 
this basement renovation here is the same property looking forward and we've created some steps. This is a brick wall that was here. We uh, excavated underneath the front porch and created a new entrance so that the front of the house uh, has an option to go downstairs into the apartment. And so this apartment is in the beaches, right in the heart of the beaches. It's 330 square feet and it's rented for $16.50 a month. And we have Tony Boyko, who's the manager of building code inspections. By and large, normally what we end up finding is that because it costs a fair bit of money, the um, landlord or owner will not um, put it in and hoping that the inspector won't see that. That happens quite often. Does it work? No, because they, they, easily, they easily find it. And, or, or, and the other thing is they put the wrong type of window in so that it actually doesn't have enough uh, clear opening. All right, so you have to make sure you put the right type of window in. To watch the full workshop, which is approximately two hours in length, with valuable information, click right below and there you go.